Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Raids and today I'm going to be doing my weekly wrap up. This week is going to be a fairly short weekly wrap up because I really didn't do a whole lot of anything. <laughs> Especially when it comes to like reading. I, I was quite surprised by the time the week had like finished that I only read one little middle grade book and that was it. I mean, I have read on things, but I don't know. I should have read other things and like I just weren't, I just wasn't doing it, so I don't know. Anyway, so let's see. What are we going to talk about first? I will talk about the things that I did that was kind of fun. And so one of the activities on the old school April is to kind of like recreate a snack or something like that from your childhood. So for me, um, Saturday mornings was a thing when my dad was like the pancake master after he learned how to make pancakes. That's a whole new story. <laughs> and he uh, finally got the knack of it and he started experimenting and everything. We used to watch the Smurfs on Saturday mornings. So sometimes he would make Smurf berry pancakes where he would put blue food coloring into the pancake batter so that we had blue pancakes and he would add strawberry flavoring to it so we had kind of a strawberry flavor and so we called them Smurf berry pancakes and we would eat those while we watched the Smurfs. And so that's what I did on Saturday. I recreated that and I will put a photograph here of what the pancakes look like <laughs> and everything and it, it was kind of fun. And I'm thinking I need to add flavoring to my pancakes more often because we don't do that <laughs> anymore and everything. But yeah, so that was fun. Um, there was a Thursday night. We went to um, to have dinner with a friend. He is in a retirement home. And it just wrinkles me and aggravates me that this man who has been so nice, he treated his family really well. He would take his grandkids to Wind Wendy's every Wednesday, yet they can't come and visit him. They put him in there when his wife was still around and his wife was really not doing good. And his memory is really bad, too, and everything. Like, he forgets that um, we've been there and all that stuff, but then he's always happy to see us when we, we go again. He was part of our coffee club. And so we decided to take Coffee Club to him. So every Wednesday, we'll go out to the retirement home and we'll visit him. And the people there are always telling us how much they appreciate us coming out there because nobody else comes. His family that lives right there close to town don't ever come. The only one that ever comes and visits him is the one that lives in California. And that's just sad. They were having a dinner um, kind of just a banquet dinner or whatever. It was fancy. It cost $15 a piece. But you had like filet mignon and twice baked potatoes. You have dessert. Yeah, I mean, it was worth the $15. But they wanted to know if we would come because they contacted his family and they would give all kinds of excuses on why they couldn't come. So me and my dad and a couple other of my friends that, always, that do um, go out and visit him on Wednesdays, we all came, and he was so surprised. He was wondering, why why are you guys here, and all that kind of stuff, and everything. And so I was happy that we did that, and it was a lot of fun, and just seeing the smile on his face. And I have a photo of me and my dad and the man, Bill, and everything. And you can tell, he's got a big smile on his face, and everything, so that was a lot of fun. And that's kind of the, the things that I did this week, besides working on my eBay store. I'm trying to get that going a little bit more and things and I don't know if that's why I just haven't read as much because I was just busy doing other things. I also have a sorting situation going on with some things too because I do want to get some of my ball cards and things up on my eBay store as well. Just trying to put things up there and hope that they'll sell. I did sell something the other day too so that was exciting. But <laughs> I do have other things besides books on my eBay store because I do have Pango which I do most of the books but eBay is kind of a mixed mash of whatever I've got toys and all kinds of stuff on there <laughs> so I was doing that but I could have been listening to stuff and so I don't know why instead of listening to something I just had the TV on in the background 
So I just didn't get a lot done. Anyway, so I, w I listened to Basil and the Lost Colony by Eve Titus. It's the second book in the Basil of Baker Street series. I listened to this one, It was and it was only an hour to listen to it. So, I mean, uh, well, I'm, I'm off to a good start here. So, uh, yeah. So, the third week in April, one book. But I'm still working on a lot of other books. These are my eyeball reads. So, I am still reading on... Um, the Eye of the Sun by Dorothy Court. I am buddy reading this with my friend Tammy from Believe in Your Shelf. About halfway through it, I should have been finished with this one already. I just really haven't given it enough attention. It's not holding my attention quite as well as some of the others that I've read in this style of Harlequin. These are very hit or miss, and I'm just not a huge fan of the plot line in this one. So, and the person that's supposed to be the love interest here he's kind of a jerk he's gonna feel bad about it whenever he finds out that she is not what he thinks and everything but yeah he's, he's just kind of a jerk so there's that um i'm still enjoying above suspicion by helen mckinnis or mckinnis i think it is mckinnis um but i just really haven't gave enough time to it either i'm like 39 pages and i think it's like 256 pages I just need to read it. A lot of what my eyeball reading has gone to is uh, keeping up with my pages for this big ol' honkin' thing, which is The Mysteries of Paris by Eugene Sue. Since I don't read very fast and everything, and sometimes the plot line of the, the chapter doesn't hold my attention quite so well, and I fall myself, find myself falling asleep or... <laughs> just not really that interested so the chapters take me a little bit longer it's kind of fun i am buddy reading this one with nicole from noteworthy fiction and so she kind of helps me out with this by you know giving me what she thinks about the chapters and stuff so it's kind of been fun talking to somebody about it but there's like a lot of things going on in this and i'm really curious about like where it's going and all that stuff but it just it's 1,300 pages, and I'm pretty sure that this could have been probably like a seven or 800 page book and still got the same point across. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just a chunky beast. We think that we'll probably get done with the second book in this by the end of the month. We're taking our time. We're only reading a couple of chapters a day, but it does take up my eyeball reading time. And so, that's why I just don't get to those very often. And I do have this going on audio, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. It's a reread for like the fifth or sixth time. I've lost count by now. The first book, the second and third book that I'm going to be reading in the coming months, I've only read those a couple of times, but I have read this one quite more often than the other ones. And so yeah, so I read this with my eyeballs last time, so I'm listening to it this time. This is kind of how I'm doing it. And I'm, I haven't gotten really far in it because I kind of forget that I'm like listening to it sometimes. Like I said, I don't know where my headspace is gone sometimes when it comes to uh, reading lately. It's just kind of like, reading, what's that? <laughs> but I have been watching a lot of things and so that's taking up a lot of my time because if I actually want to pay attention to the actual movies... And I can't read, right? So, so I did watch a Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and I liked it. I've always liked it, but I do think that I didn't like it quite as much as I used to like it. Like, it just didn't seem to be, I don't know, didn't make a lot of sense. And, and it's never made a lot of sense, the things that he did and made his friends do and all that kind of stuff just to get out of school. It was just a lot more fun, I think, whenever I was younger. But it was still okay. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Classic. Love Beetlejuice. Will always love Beetlejuice. Love Michael Keaton. Um, they're making another Beetlejuice. Like a sequel. It doesn't need a sequel. And so far apart. Like, I mean, how many years ago did this come out? It doesn't need a sequel. 
I did hear, though, that I think Winona Ryder is going to be in it and Michael Keaton is going to be Beetlejuice again. We'll see. Am I going to watch the sequel? I don't know. But this is a classic and everybody should watch it. I watched Above the Law with Steven Seagal. This was from my martial arts heydays in the... 80s and 90s, I was a big, like, martial arts fan. I get it from my father. He loves action movies. We watched Bruce Lee and all those kind of things. And Jean-Claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal and anybody else. Michael Dunikoff, I think. And Dolph Lundgren and all those kind of action-y people and everything. So, yeah. Um, this one was from, I think, the early 90s, maybe? My favorite... Though, and I need to look to see if the library has it because it's not streaming anywhere and everything is fire down below. And so I'm hoping to find that one whenever I go to the library. But yeah, I really like this one. It's a lot of fun. He, he His martial arts style is like Aikido, I think. And in the 90s was kind of his heyday. And it seems like after the 90s, especially about the mid-2000s or so, he seems to just kind of remake everything like this the same thing over and over again with a different title where in the 90s like all the movies were quite different I thought and uh, since 2019 it looks like he hasn't done anything so maybe he's retired from doing that stuff because well he would be in his 70s now so we have Pretty in Pink I always love Pretty in Pink um, it always amazed me with some of these movies that we watched back then. They didn't really have a lot of plot. But we liked them anyway. And, I mean, Pretty in Pink, it didn't really have a lot of plot. It's about a girl who has a crush on a rich guy. And the rich and she's poor and he he likes her. They don't even hang out that, off, that much during the movie. But they end up together, and you've got Ducky, who's jealous because he's always been in love with uh, the girl here and everything and stuff. And, you know, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but I still like it, and I would watch it again. My favorite one would probably be Short Circuit. I love Short Circuit. <laughs> Johnny Five is alive. Disassemble? No, no disassemble. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I really like uh, Short Circuit. If you've never seen Short Circuit, you should. The second one, the sequel to, was, was okay, but the first one is always going to be the best. So you should watch that. And that, my friends, is everything. I did... I forgot. I did watch cartoons with the group in a watch party on Saturday. I finally made it to some of it. I only got to watch a couple of cartoons because my stupid computer messed up during like the last thing that they were showing. But I did get to watch uh, Care Bears and I got to watch Pokemon and I don't think I've ever watched a Pokemon cartoon before. So that was interesting and it was actually not too bad. But the Care Bears, that brought back so many memories. I love Care Bears. <laughs> I remember watching Care Bears. And, of course, I did watch um, my Smurfs and everything. But, yeah. So, I have absolutely no clue how this last full week of April is going to go. But I do hope to at least finish this book. So, we will see. And I still need to listen. Or listen. I still need to watch... Dirty Dancing, because I haven't done that yet. I think I'm putting it off because I haven't watched it in so long and everything. But I need to do that, so I will. And, yeah. We'll just have to see whatever I get at the library when it comes to watching. And I do have some books that are short. They're middle grade still that I need to get to for Old School April. The Hardy Boy one that I haven't done yet. But, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully next week's just better. And I think this should have been a lot shorter than it was, but I rambled and everything. So if you've been here and you stayed for the rambling, yay! Let me know whatever it was that you read last week. 
let me live through the reading through you. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.